The jury in the Karen Reed murder trial still deadlocked, but ordered to make one final attempt at reaching a verdict. Good afternoon. I'm Paula Eben. The judge praised the jury and its work, but ordered them to go try again to decide if Reed is guilty in the death of police officer John O'Keefe. We have team coverage for you. We begin with WBZ's Penny Commit, who is live outside the courthouse there in Dedham. Penny. Paula, the judge just read the jurors the Tui Rodriguez instruction, which is basically a final push to get the jurors to reach that unanimous decision that is needed. But the jurors said that they're not only deadlocked, but they're deeply divided. I think this has been an extraordinary jury. I've never seen a note like this um, reporting to be at an impasse. Uh, I do find that they're now, with the additional time that they went out without coming back Friday saying that they were deadlocked, um, is due in thorough deliberations. Meanwhile, outside of the courtroom, groups on both sides continue their protests. The anti-Karen Reed group made their first appearance on Friday, but now they've grown from about 5 to 15 people. They tell me they were mobilized after an incident late last week when, according to Dedham Police, a group of free Karen Reed supporters showed up to the O'Keefe family's private gathering and tried to get in. Several members of this anti-Karen Reed group tell me that they actually used to think that she was innocent, some even taking part in the free Karen Reed movement, but that their minds changed during the course of this trial. The protests remain peaceful this morning, but Karen Reed supporters say it's them who really care about John O'Keefe. She's guilty. I mean, she did it. She said it herself. She did it. The evidence is there that she did it. So I was actually here in September in support of Karen Reed. Um, initially, I did think she was uh, innocent, and once I took a closer look at the evidence, I realized, uh, you know, a lot of things that they put out there, like the belt was missing, the shoe was missing, it was all a lie. These, what these people have done to my town is domestic terrorism. They have terrorized families. They have terrorized people. We are not, they are projecting. They copy everything we do. They don't know how to think for themselves. And if the jury still cannot come to a decision, this will be declared a mistrial. A quick note that the same judge had a different trial a couple months ago that was also deadlocked. And after issuing that clause, they did end up coming to a verdict. So we'll have to wait and see what happens today and the rest of this week. In Dedham, I'm Penny Commit, WBZ News. Penny, thanks so much. And WBZ Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiendaka, who also happens to be an attorney, joins me now. And Cheryl, break down for us what the judge's instructions meant this morning. Well, basically, this is what, and some people call this a dynamite charge because you're trying to get the jury to break a log jam. It's also called a Tui Rodriguez charge, which basically you're saying to the jury, we were brought you here to do a job. This is your job. Listen to the other side. Try to keep an open mind. Some people, though, think this charge is quite controversial. It's not used in some states hmm. because it seems to suggest to the jury and to some jurors who may be the holdouts, putting pressure on them to make a decision that they may not want to make. Right. It was interesting. Part of it reads, there are not 12 other people who are going to be better at making this decision than you all are. So you really need to work to get to that conclusion. Uh, right. If the jury comes back once again and tells the judge, we simply can't do it, we're deadlocked, mm -hmm. what happens next? That's pretty much the end of it. Unless they came back and said, we're deadlocked, but we want to continue to keep trying. Mm. Then she would allow them to keep trying. But this is the last and final instruction. Mm -hmm. After this, mm -hmm. there will be declared a mistrial. And then the Commonwealth will have to decide what charges they will continue to bring, if they continue to bring them, how they'll put their case forward, and where does Karen Reed get the money and lawyers to try the case again. Wow, this continues to be so complex. Cheryl Fiendaka, thank you so much. So if the jury comes back with a verdict, we will bring Bring it to you live on WBZ and CBS News Boston.